Well, I, I would say, and my mom would probably agree with this, that I was always the type of kid who was looking for um, spirituality and looking for um, some kind of relationship with, with a higher power. So I would try different things and go to you know Hebrew school with friends or go to CCD and I you know I went to Catholic school for, for a period of time. Um, but it really wasn't until the end of my graduate school experience at NYU um, back in 99 that a friend invited me to church in Brooklyn and I went and I, I fell in love with it and I've been going to the same church for the last 10 years. Well, what church is It's it? the Christian Cultural Center in Brooklyn, Pastor Bernard. And, um, and I really love it and I saw the connections between my faith and my spiritual identity um, and my social justice work and what I wanted to do in, in the world. And um, yeah, it's, it's been a great connection so far. So I think that that connection led me to explore spirituality in my work at NYU when I worked there the first time, as well as in my graduate work in, in Amherst in social justice education. And um, that led me to Tannenbaum mm -hmm. and then back to NYU. I mean, people really get involved in this work because they care about it on a very visceral level. From people that come here to work as, you know, administrative assistants to interns to, you know, vice presidents and directors. I think everybody shares a passion for making the world a little bit better than, than it was when they when they started. Um, so I think I think especially right now in this day and age, there just aren't enough people and organizations that are doing the work that Tan and Bob is doing. People are scared to talk about religion. They know? are? I think so. Yeah, I think people are scared. I think that um, teachers have been discouraged to teach about religion. I mean, I think that we see that, you know, in many different places that teachers are un under the impression that they can't teach about it. And so we have a lot of ignorance mm -hmm. in society about religion. It's just religious literacy in general, I think, is, is pretty low. So places like Tannenbaum, I think, are able to take it head on and, and unapologetically talk about the level. And I mean, I think we see that in conflicts all over the country. You know, um, people being bullied, or you know, or wars, or you know, kind of all-out um, you know threats against people based on difference, based on ignorance about what those differences really mean. Mm -hmm. um, and a place like Tannenbaum certainly is doing a huge service by going out there and trying to get people to confront that and to break down some of that, the, that misinformation and 